Hola mis amigos. Uh, I hope everyone's doing all right. We are going to start this first week's virtual lesson with a story called Isabella, Artist Extraordinaire. And it also says, just how inspired can a little kid be? Well, I think all of you guys can be super inspiring and creative, uh, and so can Isabella. So this book is awesome because it has a bunch of art history uh, puns in there and references, and also it deals with Isabella staying at home and creating an art museum of her own inside her house. And that's kind of the situation we're in right now where we have to stay home. So let's read about her artistic adventures and see if it can inspire us too. Isabella, no school today, her father said. We should go somewhere special. Well, home is special, said the little girl. As she's drawing her stuffed animal on the floor. Yes, but how about the park, asked the mother. Well, let me think about it. Hmm. The classic thinker pose. An afternoon in the park would be lovely, said the little girl, but Alex's birthday party's there this Sunday. Good point, the mother said. What about horseback riding, father asked. So this is inspired by a famous painting about a Sunday afternoon in the park. It can be found in the Chicago Art Museum. Well, I love horses, said the little girl, but not today. Let's cross that idea off the list. Well, how about going to the lake, Dad asked. So here's a famous portrait. A boat party could be kind of fun, said the little girl, but it's pretty cold outside today. Should we go into the city, the mother asked. We could take the train, the father said. A modern day adventure, said the little girl, but home is fun too. Well, how about the ballet, mom asked, coming up with another idea. Oh, the ballet's beautiful, said the little girl, but I was under the impression I got to pick what we do. Besides, you can just watch my class next week. Good point, the mother said. So this is based on an impressionistic painting by Edgar Degas who is always inspired by the ballet. You might recognize this one. Pick some place or we'll be staring at a starry night and we won't be going anywhere, Father said. So Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I know, I know, said the little girl. There's so many places I could just scream. Another famous painting, The Scream. Well, we could hop out for some ice cream, Mother said. Oh, I love ice cream, said Isabella. But maybe we should save that for another night. So the joke here is that Edward Hopper is the artist, and the painting was called Nighthawks, chilling in the diner. Well, I suppose we could pop down to the store, the mother said. A nice warm bowl of soup sounds great, said the little girl. Andy Warhol loved his uh, Campbell soup. Well, I've got it. I'll do something special for us, said the little girl. I'll whistle when I'm ready, Mom. Voila, we can go everywhere and see everything right here, Isabella said, and the little girl led her family to a most wondrous place. A museum of her own making. So she drew all those different scenes and pictures, put them up on her wall, so it's like they really are going everywhere that they mentioned in the story. And then at the back of the book, I like this too, because all the references of those famous artworks and the artists who created them are right there. Pretty cool. So your challenge for this week is to create a portrait. And there's some videos on the website for you to look at uh, 
to help you out, but a portrait, remember, is a picture of a person or an animal, or you could have both, uh, and you could have more than one person too if you want to draw your entire family or you with a superhero. Really, anything's possible. Uh, good luck, share what you've created, and have a little fun doing it. Adios, amigos.